Welcome back, you bunch of weirdos. It's your number one fetish. It comes to you again with another one of these intriguing FIFA 19 experiments. And today, I know I'm a little bit late on this April Fool's things, but we're doing something a little bit wackier. And today we are seeing which team is worse. A team completely comprised of keepers playing out of position or the actual worst team that you can create in FIFA 19. An unstoppable force meets an immovable object. And if you are excited to go ahead and see this sh house, then go ahead and smush your hard right nipples as well. I like button right now because it's going to go weird. But let me introduce you to the full team of the best keepers in FIFA 19 playing out of position, except for, well, one of them is going to be playing keeper. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a glitch here because David De Gea is still at a 91 and Ederson is still at an 86. They should not be there. They should probably be closer to around where Ter Stegen is. Our actual highest rated player on this team when switched to a different position is Manuel Noir, who is a respectable 48 at camp. And you can see why here. He possesses 83 reactions, a scintillating, blistering 60 sprint speed. Pretty good strength for 80. And then he's got 70 vision to pair along that with a short pass of 55. Honestly, better than Ozil. As for our strikers, we got Anthony Lopez with a finishing of 18, as well as Jordan Pickford with a finishing of 19. The highest rated finishing <laughs> for any keeper that is above, I believe, 82. In the midfield, I mostly based it on vision and short passing. As you can see, Ter Stegen comes in at a 30 Eight. He's got a short pass of 42 and a vision stat of 70. David De Gea comes in with a short pass of 50 and a vision of 68, although he did not show it in the Wolves game. And then no surprise that Edison makes it into the midfield. You can see that his stats actually aren't terrible. Like 64 acceleration, 70 vision, 63 sprint speed, 66 jumping, 87 reactions, pretty decent strength. And he's got a long passing of 58 with a short passing of 56 and even a marking of 29. Of all the keepers, he's probably the best midfielder out there um but we had to slot him into the cdm role because he had the highest mark so maybe i should have put him a little bit further out the pitch but literally ter Stegen and de gea would be useless at the cdm role then in the defensive positions i just went with whoever had the highest marking so killer navas is over here he's got a marking of 28 we put him at left back uh jan oblak he's got a marking of 27 so we put him over here so at least they'll be in the correct position like nobody really has like good interceptions or stand tackle um, Hugo Lloris, he's got a marking of 29, who I believe is the highest rated of uh, any of the high rated keepers. There's actually a Chinese keeper who's got a marking of 70. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not going to put him in here just because it's more fun if we use well-known keepers. And then we got Handanovic out on the right side. He's got a marking of 25. In between the sticks is Thiba Kochwa, who's an excellent keeper. And the reason why he is in the six and not anybody else is he's he's kind of useless at everything else. He's, he's finishing his crap. His marking's way down in the 20s. His short passing is 33. His long passing is 35. And as for the substitutes, I think a lot of people would have thought Allison would made it onto here. But his stats are a little bit lower. Honestly, I think he should be higher rated in some of these than like the likes of David De Gea. His vision's at 66. Uh, his sprint speed's kind of low. His strength is okay. And his short passing's only at a 45, and his long passing is at 44. Then we got Chichesny at a center mid. Casillas at right back. Perrin as another CM. Uh, CDM. Pepe Reina. We have striker Buffon. He actually has one of the higher finishings. <laughs> Anyone on this team, I guess, at 15. Uh, hopefully, he gets in there. Maybe be able to score something. Kepa at CM. Uh, center back, Donnarumma. Left back, Bernard Leno. CDM, Ruffier. Uh, Jan Sommer at center back. And yeah, that is the full all keeper team. But how does it compare to the lowest rated team in FIFA 19 possible without changing positions? And the lowest rated player in all of FIFA 19 goes to this man, Tian Jin. Yes, the honor of the worst player in FIFA 19 goes to a China man because as we all know, China number one. If you'd like me to prove that, I'm running a China ruins everything career mode. It's up in the eye thing, it's click on it. It's kind of fun. You can see that everybody else on here is around a 47 or a 48. I don't think I really need to go through everyone in here. Just know that they're the worst that FIFA has to offer. And I think predominantly the top nationalities of players in this team are English, Chinese, and Irish. But now we're on July 1st of 2018, and what we have done is taken both of these craptastical teams and we put them in one of the lowest competitions in all of FIFA 19. And that, of course, is the EFL League 2. What we're going to do here is we are going to sim to the end of the season and see which one of these teams 
uh, isn't going to win the league, but which one team finishes higher in the table? As for me to remain neutral, I shall be simming as Lincoln, famously named after the American president. And you guys can go ahead and vote up on the I think it's right now. Which team do you think is going to finish higher in the standings at the end of the season? Will it be the keepers playing out of position, but they actually have a legitimately world-class keeper in net? Or will it just be an all-round team that is awful, just the worst, literally the worst in FIFA 19, but they're actually playing in position. This one is legitimately really hard to tell where it's gonna go, but I personally am gonna go with the all keeper team just because they got that 89 rated coach in between the sticks and I pray there'll just be enough defense to get them like a, like a bunch of draws. <laughs> and as you guys know, if I get the prediction wrong, I have to do some type of forfeit and I'm gonna be doing what I've been doing on the last couple of experiment videos and that is give away a couple of subs over on the Twitchy Poos. I stream on Twitch every Saturday and Sunday. But that is my prediction for now, but let's see how it turned out at the end of the season, shall we? Take it away, Time Wizard. Go Time Wizard! All right, we sit on June 1st of 2019. Let's hop into the player stats and see how they finished. For Macclesfield, Seal, they actually cheated. This Matthias Skilderup guy wasn't actually on the team. They signed someone in one of the transfer windows and they got them a monstrous eight goals and two clean sheets. But of the players that were originally there, the top goal scorer was this Noah Christensen who only got about four goals and one assist. And then there's Darren Guy who had three assists. It wasn't very good. You can count all their goals right here. They had one, two, four, 13, 17, 25 goals. And no one on the team had more than one assist. <laughs> oh, but fair game. The shenanigans continue. Keeper team also bought a player. <laughs> and they, that was the top goal score for them. Robert Singh had a very respectable 13 goals and one assist. But if we actually look at peer keepers, it's Gianluigi Buffon who goes ahead and takes the top score of both of these craptastical teams with six goals, zero assists. And you got Jordan Pickford here who scored three. And then you got a whole bunch of guys who scored one apiece. Assists though, they did a little bit better. David De Gea contributing four, while well, Kepa contributed two. But ultimately, where did these two teams finish? I have a sneaking suspicion they are at the bottom. All right, 15th, 14th. We're looking for Macclesfield is representing the lowest overall team in FIFA 19, while Knotts County is going to be the team of all keepers. 22 is Tamir Rovers and Knotts County, the keepers! The keepers have come out on top and it's not even close. My God! 37 points to Mako Seal 13. Even with 31 rated strikers and probably our highest rated outfielder being like 48. Macclesfield, which was low-rated team, only mustered up 13 points, allowing 107 goals. I guess, like, looking back in retrospect, it, it kind of makes sense because it, they were just shitty all the way across, while, like, Knott's County, at least they had one position of strength. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these teams and instead play them head-to-head -head in the live-action portion. Go Time Wizard! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the worst team in FIFA 19 versus a team of all keepers. And of course, for this type of historic matchup, we can only play it the best. It's at Wembley. Let's go, boys! I want beautiful football today. Look at the keepers take to the pitch. And you guys can go ahead and vote up in the I think is right now on who you think is gonna win this one. I'm gonna do it the same. I'm gonna go with the keepers. Now primarily it's because they got Coach Wall in between the sticks, man. I think they could somehow find a way. I don't know how they're gonna score, but I think they can somehow find a way. Oh, look at him. It's so beautiful. All right, boys, let the carnage begin. Griffin plays it forward. Smith plays down the line to the lowest rated player in the game. <laughs> He's got his first shot and a nice fade. Neuer orchestrating, pulling the strings in the middle. Navas, he can cross here. I do not know what his crossing is. It is awful. <laughs> plays it a little bit of one, two. He can cross it as well. He does. That's not a terrible ball. De Gea nods it down, but completely off target. In first 13 minutes, the keepers looking dangerous. Oh, we got an attack here, but Coach Wa not really been challenged. I think that is our first shot on target for either side. Anthony Lopez, who is supposed to be playing in a strike position now over on the wing, kicks it right into the nuts of his opponent. It's gonna go. Keylor, up from his right back position, plays it into the middle. Pickford puts it on target! All right, will the height advantage come into play here? Ederson to float one in. They're there. It's a goal! Manuel Neuer! The German giant goes in and gets it, and if they were gonna score it anyway, it was probably gonna be this. There are a forest 
of monsters in here. All of them six foot two to six foot five. Mamo Nor rises to the Cajun using the old noggin of his. No one was getting to that. I think behind him was Jan Oblak. Honestly, either one of the keepers there and terrible work. Oh dear, oh dear. From Williams, just staring at it, just looking up like, oh, that's a very pretty ball. But 40 minutes, we got the breakthrough. I'm very happy that there's actually been a goal scorer. De Gea coming into the midfield. Handanovich with the Hollywood switch. Audacity. So that's gonna be it for the first half. The keepers lead one nil, but there is a trick up the sleeve for Macclesfield in the all crap team. You can see that it is mostly domination for the all keeper team, but the big thing to note is the majority of these keepers do not have a lot of stamina. In fact, I think the highest stamina rating of any of the outfield players is probably around 35. So what you're gonna see in the second half is the all crap players are going to make a lot more runs successfully. Come the 65th, 70th minute, there's not gonna be a real way for the keeper team to keep up. Norval Williams on the overlap, puts it into the middle. Nor able to clear it away. Is there anything Nor can't do? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Dangerous slide tackle there, but I like the audacity. Vicious ball up there. Maurice. <laughs> De Gea, the enforcer! The second time. And look at this. De Gea. Who's better? Vote him in the eye things. De Gea or Zidane. And there we go. Our first substitutions. We're going to see Allison come on to the pitch for Tristegan. And then some random Chinese guy come on for the shitty team. You also got to put into account that. Oh, he's in great position. Ah! All crap team. 80th minute, they gotta make something happen here. They gotta they gotta take a couple of risks. They've also had a couple of substitutions. Alright. Down the line. Okay. I don't know what that was. Just slicks it into the box. And that's gonna be it, folks. The keepers are victorious in this battle of who is crappier. And it begs the question: what other wacky things could I be doing? What other teams do you think could challenge? The all keeper team. Vote up in the I think is here, or I'll put a couple of options there to go up against the the worst team in FIFA 19 as well. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna include for me. If you want to check out other experiments, go ahead and click over here, Dinks and Poos. And if you want to check out my channel ruins everything career mode, go ahead and click down here. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, see yourself, stay humble, and until next time, boys, stay thick.